Ready to get started, excited for the new team and the new year. Let's go, Kellys. You know, when you kind of look at day one of training camp, man, everybody excited, everybody ready to get back, everybody um, has the butterflies of, of football coming back for 2018. And, and so, guys are just, um, you know, ready to go. And um, so, the the energy you feel in the building is different, um, especially throughout the summer with everybody kind of being in and out as far as coaches is concerned. Um, it's kind of, you know, dead around here. Football comes down to being physical. You know, we got to be physical. And, and um, so one of the things is be a tough training camp. It'll be a physical training camp because I want us to get some scars on our on our elbows and knees and and um, and you know so so we can come into the season understanding the physical toll that it's going to take because day in and day out, week in and week out, you're facing opponents that that's coming to get you. And the Big South is a very physical football conference, and so um, we we have to be able to have depth. So we got to create depth. Um, so we can rotate guys in and out. So we'll be able to go through this Rule 11 um, game season um, in the Big South. And so that's going to be difficult. It's going to be fun, but uh, we're looking forward to the challenge. This is my senior season coming up here. I'm a red shirt uh, senior, wide receiver from Sanford, North Carolina. Um, I got injured last year, so I'm definitely looking forward to uh, playing another full season. Training camp is the season before the season. Um, you know, it's a great way to get ready for the season. Um, this year for uh, training camp, we're getting up at 5 o'clock. Uh, you got to be waiting by 5.15. 6.15, special teams meeting. Uh, you're on the field at 6.30. From there, it's two-hour practice. Hi, I'm Crystal. I am a sports dietitian consulting with the Campbell University football team. And today we have been working on correcting some of the things that we have found that could help performance. Um, one of the big things we found is looking at hydration and hydration status after practice. So we've been weighing our guys in and weighing our guys out, teaching them about their 2% threshold um, where we don't want to have dehydration happen, um, and teaching them about the amount of fluid that they need after their workouts. We're also teaching them some recovery um, opportunities, so we're making smoothies, teaching them about different kinds of protein, how, how to implement that kind of protein just to help with that recovery. Ms. Crystal came in and she gave us a bunch of little tips that we can do if you're either trying to gain weight or trying to lose weight or trying to maintain weight. Um, she talked about some of the stuff that we should eat an hour before practice or games, four hours before, you know, the night before, uh, post-workout meals. Uh, supplements that we can use, um, like using olive oil when you cook in order to add calories if you're trying to gain weight. Um, so she just gave us a bunch of cool little tips and tricks to use on our own when you know we go to the dining hall when we're cooking for ourselves. Now we go into the weight room every other day for uh, lifting and then on our off days you know we go do recovery work where we stretch, do some band stretching, um, different like activities that they give us as tools for our toolbox to you know do on our own at home even. Uh, the training room's open every day. Uh, there's hours if you make an appointment that you can go in and uh, they'll be there for you but there's a uh, an hour for offense an hour for defense uh, that's mandatory every day that everyone goes and uh, you just get something done even if you're not hurt even if you're if you feel great you know you go do something whether it's norma tech game ready stretch um, roll out just something to keep your legs under you because camp gets long so uh, just trying to find ways to get ahead of the curve The purpose of the team trips we take throughout camp is to really develop, develop some camaraderie amongst the teammates, you know, and it also gives us a day off in the field, but we're also getting something out of it. So even though we're laying low, we're relaxing and everything, we still get together as a team and develop that camaraderie. Uh, each night we have special speakers come and really spread their wisdom and that helps us in the classroom when we have guys like Bob Roller, the president, and different Sal Macagliano, who's our student faculty advisor. The other part of it is when you're trying to be successful in anything, in this case football, but other aspects of our life, it's good to hear from successful people that have done it before and tell us 
you know, the steps you should take, things you should, shouldn't do, and uh, it's the wisdom they have there. But when I look at your stuff online, how are you different from one another? What sets you apart? Guys, I want you to be great and control the things that don't require talent. Is that you with me? But it is not easy. What gets you out of bed? But if it's just about you, number one, it's going to be real easy for you to give up. Number two, it's going to be real hard for you to be happy.